So traders, in this video, I wanna teach you three powerful trading techniques that you can start to apply to your own trading today to start to supercharge your success in the markets and also help you identify much better trading opportunities when you are trading. You can utilize this on all markets. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into this uh, market update for you. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is uh, is, the, is, uh, is the nature of looking for a pullback first before you try to get into a particular position. So let's actually do this here, okay? Again, what I'm talking about here, traders, I want you to succeed massively in 2024, okay? And these are three powerful techniques. I may even do four, you know, maybe, maybe some prizes in there as well too, depending on what happens. But the very first one that I really want you to share is with, I want you to understand the nature of the beast of the markets. And then also, how can you, when you understand the nature of the beast of the market, how can you then start to slot yourself into different trading opportunities that's gonna give you the best chances of doing really well? So if we are looking at a market first, right? If we're looking at a particular market, how do markets really work? Well, how they work is this, right? We know, or you may not know, but it, the markets go up for a while and then they end up having a pullback, right? They go up for a while, then they have a pullback and they go up for a while. So as you can see that if you're looking for a trading opportunity, then what you wanna do is if you understand that this is, the, this is the nature of a bull market is you have these higher lows in place. Okay, so this is a very good bull market, right? So the first thing is, if that's a bull market, where are the probably the best times to enter in a bull market or in a market, in, in a strong market in general, right? So if you look at the background right now in the S&P, we're in a very big strong leg to the upside. So if we had to look at probabilities, right? And this also technique is gonna stop you from getting into bad trades as well too. Because like for example, if, we, if, we, if you know the market goes up, then you get a pullback, goes up, get a pullback, goes up, get a pullback, goes up, and so on and so forth. If we know that ahead of time, okay? If we know that that's what's going on in the markets, then and we know that, then firstly, we can stop ourselves from getting into low probability positions and look for much higher probability positions. So for example, on the NAS or on the S&P 500 here, right here, if you looked at this graph here, where would it be a good time to go long here? If you know that after a while we get what? We end up getting a pullback, right? So this also technique helps you from stop getting into bad positions because like, okay, it's it's gone up for a while and we know we're probably gonna get a bit of a bit of a drop soon, maybe even a bit of a sideways movement before we actually start to elevate to the upside. Make sense? So this is one really big thing here that I that I that I see traders making a big mistake is because they're trying to enter in, they're trying to they're trying to probably buy up here where you know that, oh, okay, we've been going on for quite some time, probably getting a drop. So when would be, when would be the, when would be, if that's a bad time to get in, when would be a good time to get in? Well, the good time that we'd be getting would be what? Waiting for the pullback first, and then wait for the, at least a bit of a scooping action, okay? Wait for a bit of a drop in a bull market, and then wait for a bit of a scooping action. Now, what I mean by scooping action is a lot of the time, see through these periods through here and these periods through here, is that as you go up, you may get a pullback or a bit of a drop for a while, okay? But you just don't know when that's going to end, right? So then it may flatten out for a bit and then it starts to pick back up. See how now this here is a much more higher probability entry area because you're in a very big bull market, you're way pullback and you're waiting for this scooping action first. Because what can happen a lot of times is that this may be the top of the market and it goes like that and then suddenly goes like that and down, 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 right? So you don't ever want to preempt. You just want to wait for that nice, good, higher, low and then the bit of a scooping action start to increase and this is where. What does this also do? If you can have a stop at the low here and then and this, and this and what's it going to do is it's going to give you a good opportunity of increasing a big move to the upside, make sense? So the very first thing that I wanted to share with you here that's gonna supercharge your success in trading is wait, is once you've identified some sort of trend in the markets, wait for the pullback first. A pullback is basically, 
like I, I basically this see this here this is just a pullback a pullback a pullback a pullback a pullback a pullback what is a pullback simply just means that it's it's again it's the nature of the beast you'll notice in the in the background here it's just how markets flow right we go up we go down we go up go down and this is how the nature of the beast really works in the markets here so this is what we see in a big bull market so the best opportunities to supercharge your success is wait for when you're in a bull market wait for at least a bit of a bit of a cooling off a reset a bit of a pullback first and then wait for the wait for the the next next scooping action because then it has a big probability of doing that and what you want to do is you want to set yourself up for success right so if you had say a three times profit target compared to your one risk you could be 50-50 right and still make money. Make sense? So that's the very first thing that I do say when it comes to that there. Now, the next thing, I, on the back of what I've just said there, my favorite type of a pattern is called the l shape pattern. Let me show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna bring up, this is a screenshot through here, okay? And I wanna share with you what I call the l shape pattern. The l shape pattern for me is my favorite style of trading patterns in the market, right? So you could utilize anything. This is a stock trade here. What do we have here? It's an L-shaped pattern, right? So it's down, see how it goes down and then it just goes across like that. And then we have a large bar like that. This is my favorite type of pattern, bullish and bearish, right? Stock trade, this here, this right here is a Forex trade. See the L-shaped pattern with the breakout? Very nice move to the downside. So the L-shaped pattern for me, and I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of, of examples, you know, through, look at this here, stock trade. What is this here? L-shaped pattern, like see the L-shaped pattern? And then the breakout, and then we had a nice move to the downside. You see it through there? It's just, it's an amazing, amazing, like look at this here. You see the L-shaped pattern? This is the uh, upside down L-shaped pattern, right? Look at this here, strong up, sideways for a while and then the scooping action and then away we go look at that bam so always wait for what's called what i call it the l-shaped pattern from there and let me just again i can show you dozens and dozens and dozens of examples through here um now one thing i want to just share with you here is uh again you've got so many i've got so many different patterns that i can teach you when it comes to this but there's one type of there is one type of, there's a screenshot that I created for my private clients that I really wanted to just share this with you here because I think it's going to really, really, really help you out when identifying trading opportunities. And this is what trading, this is what, this, this is what it's all about, right guys? Looking for really good trading opportunities. Here we go, okay? So this right here is a screenshot of different types of setups. Now, these are all different types of markets. There's a stock market in there. There's a crypto market in there. There's a China market in there. And there's also some Forex um, and some futures markets in here, right? They're all different types of patterns. But the one pattern that you see is what? Now this is, a, I'm gonna take it to another level for you here, okay? We're looking for, and uh, I'm gonna take it to another level. So uh, this, this may be four or five or six techniques by the time I'm finished this video <laughs> for you, right? But uh, three sounded like a good number. I said that I'm probably gonna go for a lot more, right? Um, and traders, by the way, if you really like this sort of stuff, then that free trading course, that second link in the description there, I give away a full complete trading course that goes through the four different phases that walks you through the biggest mistakes you're making right now, the foundations, chart reading techniques, advanced chart reading techniques, stuff that I'm talking about today as well too, my number one trading system. In fact, you actually get access to an event that I'm running today where I'm teaching you my number one trading system today. That's all that. That's second link in the description there, guys. Click on that and I promise you, if you need help, that is literally after 20 years of trading the markets, uh, you'll be able to get access to literally what I call the tw like a two-decade shortcut of what you should be focused on, the biggest mistakes you're making, and so forth. So that's second link in the description there, guys. Go click on that. Um, and instantly get access to my number one trading system and then get access to the whole trading course to really kick ass in 2024. But firstly, this the L-shaped pattern here, okay? So I wanna start with the L-shaped pattern and then I'm gonna overlay something else. They supercharge it even more for you, right? I want you succeeding. Look at this here, down, L-shaped pattern. There, see the L-shaped pattern? Down, this one here, a bit more of a slightly up L-shaped pattern. This one here, down, see how it's slowly across? Look at this here, down, across, see up, across, see the L-shaped pattern, down, across, and then breakout. Look at this here, down, across, and then we have the breakout, right? So the first the first bit I talked about was identifying trends and looking for the scooping action. Then we start to overlay this to even more to start to fine tune of these pullbacks, 
right? Type of pullbacks we should be looking for and the L-shaped patterns. Then now let's overlay that another level on top of what I just said there. So the first thing was trend, wait for a pullback, then looking for the scooping action. Then we then we went for another level. So okay, now this is the type, this is the best type of pullbacks or or, or um, counter trends, whipsaws, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? Of that there. And that's what I went there. Now I'm going to go to another level is that when you start to have this, and you start to apply a 52 moving average and you start to overlay this here, oh my goodness, we're starting to talk about um, super, uh, uh, hugely successful now um, of these different opportunities here. Now these opportunities don't come around that often guys, but I'm talking about like, we're talking like high probability, A quality type of patterns that's really gonna supercharge your success in the markets because I really want you succeeding. So we talked about that now, the L shape pattern with a strong moving average, right? Now, what does a strong moving average actually mean? A strong moving average is not, it's, if, if the moving average was flat and then it does that, that's not strong. But notice how if I identify this opportunity over here, this was actually a stock trade, by the way, over here, we have what? We have down and we have across. Notice how we went across to what? See, this blue moving average here is what? This is the 52 moving average on a daily chart, by the way. And then we had the breakdown candle and then we had a nice successful trade. Okay, that's what I'm all about. Is so we not only, again, level one was identify trend, wait for pullback, okay? Level two now is the type, the best type of pullbacks is what I call the L-shaped type of pattern. Now level three on what I've just said that they supercharge it even more for you is now level three is going to be when you do that, make sure you have a strong trending moving average because it's a good chance. Not only do you have good trend in place, which is a lower high, but then you have moving average, which is like a momentum indicator, right? It's got strong trend and strong momentum behind it. Same thing for here, right? What do we have here? This one here, up sideways, and then look what we have. See the moving average is really strong trend to the upside. And then we had up a very nice move to the upside. Same thing through here, right? Down, across. Look at the moving average come down. As soon as we got there, large candle, we had a nice move down, right? So firstly, the, the first port of call of you successful trade in the markets is what? The first port of call is all about understanding what amazing quality setup looks like. This is the first port of call, right? Identifying those. Then we could, later on, we could talk about how to maximize the let the profits go. And also when there is a losing trade, how to minimize those losses, right? Because that's what you want there. Powerful setups, big profits, small losses, and start to combine that, combine that, make sense? So now what we have here is this, down across to what? We now have down across to a, a long-term moving average, right? Same thing that we lose here, down across, see, the move, see this moving average? 52 moving average coming down. Same thing for here. I think this one here was a five minute trade here, five minute futures trade, I'm pretty sure. Up, look at the moving average coming up through there. Same thing through here, look at this here. Down, L-shaped pattern, beautiful L-shaped pattern. Look at the moving average, it's coming down, and then we actually started to head down from there. Look at it from here, look at this here. See, so down, across the L-shaped pattern, and again, look at the moving average coming down through there, and then look at this here, this one here fell off a cliff. Now. See what I just went through there. See what I just mentioned here there a minute ago, right? So I really overlaid three different things, a couple of different things here. Firstly, trend analysis. If there's a trend making higher lows, wait for some sort of a pullback, wait for scooping action. Then we then we actually walked you through, okay, the different the, the type of pullback that you actually wanna see, which is more like an L-shaped pattern. Then we started overlaying that now with, we're looking at the moving average as well too. See what we're doing here, we're combining this here. Again, traders, that second link in the description there, when you get access to the free trading course, um, you're also gonna get access straight away to my trading system and you'll see the reason why this is so successful when you see it step by step by step actually with the trading system, the trading rules, the proper entry candle, so on and so forth, right? But this is all about helping you move forward in a massive, massive, massive way through here. Um, so that's that point through there. Now, I wanna overlay this here. Is this number, what's this number, four or five, whatever, right? The next level I wanna do is like, how do we identify this pattern here, which is L-shaped pattern, strong moving average, at a certain level in the market to not only give us a high probability entry point, but a high probability of having a really big move, right? Really big move. Like not just a small little move, right? Because some of these trades can what? Some of these trades can just have a here, to here, right? I'm talking about really big moves. What was, why did this trade down the bottom here, 
Why did that have a massive move on the downside? Hmm, interesting. Let me show you how we can qualify that to have a potentially having a really big move. Now, by the way, guys, there's opportunities like this all over the place, right? Let me show you that. Let me show you through here because it's such a big, 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 big thing here um, in the market. So let me just walk you through. Let me just bring up. Let me just bring up here again. I'm just going through, just trying to find you. Um, okay, so let me just. Let's go through to. Do, 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 right here, right? So I want to use this as an example, then I'm going to start to go through more examples here, okay? So let's actually do this here. L shape pattern, strong 52. Now we've got that down there. But when we get that pattern at a certain area in the market, whoa, hugely successful, right? Hugely successful. And again, traders, when I'm doing, when I'm actually trading with my private clients, because I trade with my private clients every single day, they see the trades I'm taking, and I'm not only showing the trades I'm taking, but I'm coaching them every single day. Um, these are the opportunities that I'm actually looking for every single day. If you are interested in that, guys, you can apply for it. That first thing in the description there, if you go book a call with me, I'll personally call you to give you all the details, see if you're a good fit, um, and all that sort of stuff as well too for the rest of this year. But these are the type, these, these are the type of things, guys, that I'm working not I'm not only doing, not only trading, but I'm coaching my clients every single day on these techniques. That's really, really, really important for us to understand. But look at this here. How we are, how remember the L shape pattern? Look at this here. So if we get a L, an L shape pattern like this, da 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 da, right? And we have a strong moving average through here. Okay, cool. Now let's actually qualify that even more. If we have a period, let's just say for example, this whole level through here, right through here, was indeed some sort of long term resistance levels. Maybe it came up and did this. It did that. Maybe did something like this as well too in the past and did something like that. See that through there? Oh, now what? Oh, I'm telling you right now, guys. Oh, oh my goodness. We're talking supercharge, amazing, A quality type of setups, amazing, right? So, because traders, I'm not only identify, I, I don't want to just identify what's, what's called really high probability setups, which I'm walking you through. I want to be able to see on real time, okay, cool. This is a setup that if it does start to move, we could have a really big move out of it, right? So as you can see through here on this example, look what we have here. See, we actually have what? A major resistance level all through there. We have what? See the L shape pattern up, down, and then look at the move off that. That thing exploded and then just kept, kept going, kept going, kept going. See what I'm saying there? And look at this, what is this here? Strong moving average behind it. See that through there? Look at this through here. Here's another example here. What do we have? We have what? We have this resistance level here, major resistance level, and then we get what? We get the breakup, we get the pullback with the L-shaped pattern, a little bit of a breakup bar through there, and we get the moving average trending up very, very nicely. You see that through there? So this is what it's all about. Now, if you look at this here, here's another example right here, is look at this here, bearish example, coming down through there, but look at all that resistance through there. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you right now, traders, it's like, and even my private clients, get ready because there's actually there's actually a handful of this handful of these trades right now happening right on the stock market. Right now in the stock market, there is potentially there's getting the L-shaped pattern and getting ready for an entry candle. Oh my goodness, 2024 is gonna be so good, right? I'm just so excited about this. And remember, remember guys, this works on any market. And it's these opportunities don't come around that often, but when they do, you wanna take advantage of it. Why? Because we're talking potentially, especially if this is a stock trade and you can use things like options or even Forex or futures leverage, on well, hundreds and hundreds of percent in profits on that through there. Now, what does that actually look like, right? So here's an example here of a trade. This was actually, pretty sure this was a futures trade. This here is an example without the moving average. What does it look like without the moving average? Notice, look at this here, all the resistance level through there. And now look what we have. Bam, down, L-shaped pattern, break down. I wonder what happened to this trade here. If you got into this trade here, again, I don't have the moving average because I removed, oh, this one here, I'm talking about the pattern without the moving average. That's what happened. You see that through there? Are you seeing this? Are you getting this? It's really one of those things, like here's another example right here. What do we have through here, right? The resistance level, the L-shaped pattern, the what? The strong moving average through here. Oh my golly goodness. Are you seeing this? Are you getting this? 
Then look at this here. Very, very, very big move uh, on you know on, on the downside from there. And these setups here happen. These these setups, guys, happen again and again and again. And if you think this is a fluke, like oh these are just screenshots, well once again, traders, let me actually bring up the Nasdaq through here. Let me bring up the Nasdaq. And right now the futures markets are ticking off. All right, let me show you the Nasdaq. Let's bring on the 52. Let me show you a real trade that happened just last week on this exact same thing. What do we have here? Look at this. What's this here? Whole bunch of error resistance. What is this here? The l shape pattern. What is this here? The strong moving average coming down. And look at the move happen there. This is not some fictitious stuff that's screenshots and it doesn't work and so on and so forth. I'm telling you right now, this is the stuff. These are the techniques traders that are really going to supercharge you and make you a successful trader in the future. And that's the reason why, guys, that second link in the description there, if you want to learn more information about these trading techniques over that, I give away a free course for that so you can get access to that. Or if you do, if you want to be able to see the, these types of trades here, but see me do it live every day and have coaching and, and be, able to, be, able to, be able to get me to identify these trades, trading setups for you, then you may be a good, you may be a good fit for my actual coaching program where you can see these type of setups. That first link in the description, you can go book a call with me and then I'll see if you, I'll personally call you to see if you're a good fit from there. But traders, hear all these techniques here. How many techniques did I walk through? I said I was gonna do number three. I said, I said three at the start, but these are the trading techniques, simple, powerful trading techniques that don't involve, don't involve complicated indicators and complicated things happening that don't in, involve with all these complicated things that can supercharge your success in the markets that when you start to apply them, right, with the analysis we talked about, the trend analysis, waiting for the pullback, the type, the type of pullback, the moving average, and having the, the L-shape pattern and where we actually have the L-shape pattern, these things that I've walked through right now, this is where the real truth is at. The 80-20 rule in the market is real, right? 20% of the stuff out there really moves the needle. The other 80% is fluff fillers, confusing, and it stops you from really getting into massive opportunities like this from here. So I hope this helps you out there today, traders. Please apply this to you. This whole thing was here to help you kick some real big butt in 2024.